Hello everyone, it's Cress aka Taka, and it's time for this week's thrift haul video for December 10th. So it's all the stuff I found this week thrifting. <coughs> I do seem to be getting a sore throat, so I will be drinking water throughout this video. And 99% uh, of what I found is Christmas. So the first item I found this week is not Christmas, but it would probably look great as Christmas. Um, there are these cute ivy pattern crescent shaped salad plates, or you could use them as bone plates, I suppose, but they are Franciscan pottery hand decorated. I did pay up and paid $2 a plate. Um, I only got a set of four of them, which is fine because the last two sold on eBay are like 64 and like 90 for four. So, um, apparently this is the pattern of plate Lucy used on. I love Lucy for many years. Um, cause it came up on some of the listings, but, uh, they had regular salad plates there, but I couldn't find any salts on them. I picked out the four best of these. There was seven there. Um, but some had some discoloration, so I left those, but Just very pretty and I like the different shape and they're small enough where I definitely can fit them in a medium flat rate box wrapped up if they end up being super duper heavy. <coughs> and then went to Salvation and picked up a bag for $1.75 with ornaments in it. And the two I was going for in here were Bianca and Bernard Mouse. They're a little um, fuzzballed because they are flocked. I have tried to take that off once. I think I will definitely use these on my tree this year and then maybe post them in January. I have sold this ornament in the past for $9. So the pair could sell for 20 easily. Um, but they are from the rescuers, so. So they were worth the dollars and 75. Then there were, I took throughout anything that was obviously bad in here, like super glittery or stuff that definitely was super modern. Then I found these two cute little wooden guys. I, I love that they're both smoking different pipes. Even this guy must've lost his feet. Although it doesn't look like they were ever attached. It doesn't look like there were nail holes or anything. Whereas this guy, it's definitely nailed in. So I don't know if that's just different styles. Um, this one's unmarked. This one says Japan. You know, uh, a random stocking with a bell on it. Someone knitted. This one looks like it might've been through a fire. I sold one like this in the past, but it was much brighter. So I don't know. This might go in my pile of things that I'm going to sell as a make your own Christmas wreath kind of deal where they're not perfect ornaments where you can hide their mistakes in the stacking of them. But I mean, she has her wings and everything. It's just, she's a wee little bit darker and it's the whole thing covered in like a coat where I'm thinking she might've been through a fire, but she doesn't smell like it and she's not melted at all. So it's kind of confusing. Uh, then there were these cheap, plastic notes, but still not fall off glittery. Then we have a Merry Christmas wreath by, I think that says Lillian Vernon. And yeah, Lillian Vernon Corp 1980 Lilykins brand. And then we have a few of these, I assume homemade like lacy doily things. Angel here got a little cactus, Christmas cactus that says Toucan Arizona on it. A few of the lights seem to have fallen off, but you can still, it still looks good. Um, and then there was this ornament that looks like it went on wrong. It says Silent Night, Holy Night. It says it's a Hallmark ornament, but it's actually fuzzy looking, but it was still sold apparently. 
It's a fuzzy looking thing of kids looking at the baby G. I assume it's baby Jesus. And then this cute little uh, stained glass snowman where someone gave him a little scarf, jewelry scarf. So all that for $1.75. And again, I still haven't gotten to the metal pile from last week, so I definitely will group those together on my listings. Uh huh. Oh, the weather is extra fun. Um, the next store I went to was St. Vinny's in Ishpeming, but I'm gonna go with Thriftish first because St. Vinny's is just more awesome. So Thriftish is the little thrift store. And they had Christmas out, and I just grabbed this for $1.50, but I was only really looking at one ornament in here, and anything else was just a surprise. So uh, this is actually a top, like a kid's top to play with. It is marked Dakin. Got a cute little bear on it. And then one of those flat, like, papery, cardboard-feeling ornaments with bears. And then this one's intriguing to me. It's an ornament made of felt for a tree, but there's like a professional year on here of 2006 and a little bell and it looks like it was well made, but there's no other marking on it to tell you who made it. So, but that was interesting. The ornament I saw that made me just grab the bag and not look even more intensely, a cookie monster ornament. And then some random homemade ornaments. And then this one actually still works. Look, it's a mini fiber optic tree. I'm sure someone would rent that. Oh, look, it changes color too. It's not just red. It goes from red to green to blue to purple to yellow. That's kind of impressive. <laughs> Then we have an itty bitty glittery snowman. The loudest bell on earth on a cardinal. A uh, cute little boat ornament with some oars in it. Some random pieces of fake holly or mistletoe. Now these two are both still in their bags. We have Made in Taiwan, 80s Cat, and Classic 80s Blue Boat Goose. Got a little tiny metal ornament. Very thin. This one is very perplexing. It's just a random Santa head with wheels on it. I, I, I don't quite get it, but it's the start of a horror movie to me. Then this really, really randomly made angel. I, I assume she was homemade out of pasta because half her wing broke off and it's like just creepy as hell. I do plan to just throw that one out, but it, it was a mighty good effort from someone. Um, then of course you all have to. Then we have this reflective ornament of the three wise men, I assume. And a random pinkish bed. Uh, a letter A in pearls. And a weirdly beaded pipe cleaner candy cane. So that's all it was in that one. That's not all I got from Thrift Dish. Oh. Trying to put them back in the bag and keep them slightly clean. Oh. oh. The back does not like me today. The one non Christmassy thing I got was this very weird finger puppet. It's a folk manis. It says folk manis. I paid a quarter and it's apparently a little black bear, but all you do is put your finger on it to move it around like this. I don't get it, but it's very cute. And I got for 50 cents a little Lennox uh, holiday bowl for candy. 
looks like they have those hazelnut candies in it on the picture. And that is what's in the box and it's like unused. And then I got this cute Chevy Bel Air ornament. I'm going to take it out of the box. I think he charged me 50 cents for this. I'm going to take off this heinous green hook though. Hold on. That is just heinous. Oh, there we go. Look at that cute Chevy Bel Air. The little Christmas tree and that. All right. Then we're going to get to Thrift Dish where I went crazy in their Christmas section and I actually got to use my $5 off coupon because I spent over 10. Um, so I'm using those dollars off of most of the Hallmark ornaments to make them half price. Um, to make them 50 cents instead of a dollar and then my one Snoopy thing is now a dollar. So everything else was a quarter if it was loose. So we'll start with those. Loose ornaments. So there was this cute, like, gingerbread reindeer cookie. It says Merry Christmas 1976 on the back. There's this cute little lion from Rudolph. And the Misfit Toys area. He was the ruler of the Misfit Toys. There you go. Come on, get in focus. Then I found this cute kangaroo ornament. It is actually an Avon ornament. So you got the Joey in a hat and Mama there in a scarf. Got a Hershey's Kiss rocking horse ornament. Mm. I see everyone's hooks are falling off. <sighs> Needs a little cleaning, but it's a cute little Rugrats ornament where he has his little brother, Bill. And this one's a crescent moon with bears. It's very Abby Pewter, I feel. Come on, Selwyn. And then this says Joyful Greetings 1995. It is a Durkin, Gloria Durkin ornament. And then we grabbed this because I'm still trying to get all four of the Energizer Bunny ones and I never know which one I have already. So uh, I'll just have a pile of these and it'll all be but the one I don't have. It'll be hilarious. Here is a Norman Rockwell Christmas metal ornament, and it was produced through McDonald's. But I liked that they took their dog to get their Christmas tree. And the last loose ornament that I can't believe survived the table of death of just loose ornaments bouncing against each other is this cute snowflake, crystal snowflake. And it has Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus, but it is a Lennox ornament from 1989. So one, I can't, I can't believe that survived. It's not chipped or cracked or anything. Miracle. All right. Now for the one non-Christmas thing. I got this for me. It's the fox from Mary Poppins. Probably paid a quarter. Um, <laughs> and now for ornaments. So this is a Snoopy singing Christmas carols department 56. The box is a little damaged and I do believe the piece is slightly damaged, but it is very cute because I don't know how else this would have fit in the box without that being broke off, but I have an idea. It used to have something there and they were like, oh, it doesn't fit in the box. Let's just break it, force it in and something fell off because uh, it really doesn't fit. So that's the back of the tree. And here's the front. It's Snoopy and Woodstock. 
it does look like Snoopy is a little crazed on the back. So I may just end up keeping that and throwing it in Dad's Village collection. Ugh, how are you in here? There we are. But I snagged it. And then we have boxes. So I'm really mad. There's all this room on the boxes to put the tags and they had to keep putting them over the images, like, which is really annoying, but this is what it is. It's a little like firefighter who just discovered he has a mouse in his boot. So I'm gonna pay about 50 cents a piece for these. And I found three of these different fashion of foot mice in boots. So I'm going to put those together as a lot. You can see I had to take the tag off and it does not come off perfectly. Yes. I'm just trying to find number two fashion of foot. All right, so we have this one. See, you can't quite see the mouse on it. So fortunately that might deter the value, although they all look good inside. And then this one where it's a red boot. So they're all different, but I'll probably just lot those together for a collector. And then I grabbed this downhill run. Uh, looks like Santa bobsledding with three of his reindeer. And finally, in the workshop, a little cutie working on a robot. So yeah, very heavy Christmas, but it is the time of year where stores will overstock Christmas finally. And you can find some really cheap things that are in good enough shape to use on your tree again and again. But that is all. I will put my links to my trash to your treasure shops down below. Um, I do try to list something every day, although I did take yesterday off because I just did not feel like listing. It was a long day and I just couldn't wake up. It was one of those days where no matter how much caffeine you had, you were still sleepy all day. So uh, thanks for watching. See you next week, possibly. But it is some sometimes hard to get enough in a week once winter is here. But the weather is just starting to really turn, which is amazing here to be this late in the season and have good drives to places. But I'm not sure how many more drives I will get that isn't just delivering to the post office. All right. Talk to you later.